beautiful people. Um, just wanted to say vlog is going to be a little short this week because I got a new addition to the family and I'm learning how to use it. I am the type of person to buy something. I'm not doing nothing with it until I read the manual. I'm not doing anything with it until, <laughs> nothing. I'm not doing anything with it until I've gone through every setting on it so that I know what it can do um, and I can write down things that I need to further research and understand. Um, I really cannot buy a product, open it and go. I'm too terrified I'm gonna break it and um, this costs too much to be breaking, broken, brook. So, um, shorter vlog this week, but that's just because I'm setting some stuff up. I'm getting prepared to use this um, to its fullest uh, capabilities, capacities, whatever the word is. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Download was just like, stop sleeping on yourself. Download said, you know, let your creativity out, be present. Um, you need to take these actionable steps to do what you say you wanna do. Um, and I've been talking about this camera for about a month, not this camera, but just like a vlogging camera. I was like, I, I, I need a vlogging camera. It's really hard to vlog on my phone, which is what I'm doing right now. In addition to run my business um, from my phone when I'm out, in addition to shooting TikToks, um, taking pictures, for, it's just a lot on the phone. And I, you know, I have enough storage. I bought the phone pretty big so that I could multitask because back then it wasn't a thought to vlog. It wasn't a thought to do like YouTube this heavy. <sighs> Things have changed and here I am. And so I'm like, I can't do this all on my phone anymore. You know, I can... Uh, record 30 minute yoga videos, throw it to the computer, edit and post it. But what is it now when I'm recording my 30 minute videos for yoga or bar? Then I'm vlogging throughout the day. And then going into your library to be like, is this a vlog? Is this a YouTube class? Is this a clip for TikTok? It was just too much. So if I could move the vlog, if I could move the yoga and bar videos to this camera and shoot from here, boom, I can keep the phone on the Instagram, on the TikToks, you know, on the reels. And um, yeah, it's, I really just had a revelation um, during my meditation um, and receiving my download where it was just like, bro, if you say you're about to do this, then do it. Cut the shit, stop making the excuses. You know, it is an investment in your business, um, your very real business. So start making these very real moves. And bitch, here I am. So like, I be, I really, do my due diligence. And I think that's from working at Apple. Um, when I worked at Apple, you know, a lot of us have iPhones. Um, doesn't matter how you got the iPhone, how you paid for it, um, outright, full price, monthly, whatever the case is. It's a piece of technology that a lot of us have that a lot of us are not really using. And I'm gonna say it right here. We have an iPhone and all we're doing is texting, FaceTiming, calling, and scrolling the internet. Do you know what you can do with an iPhone? Do you know the capabilities of an iPhone? And the answer is no. A lot of y'all are gonna say no because you're buying it for the cult. You're buying it for the vibes. You're buying it to keep up with the Joneses. But no one has actually sat down and listened to the videos on Apple. Went through a tutorial. Go to the Apple store and take a lesson that they give for free in the store. You know what I'm saying? And we just over here doing the bare minimum. And if you're doing the bare minimum because that's all you need to do then fine but did you need to buy an iphone and then that's where it gets into you bought it for this reason you bought it to keep up with that person so when i get any product i do my best to just sit down and really try to learn about it from other people's reviews from the actual product um links and reviews so that i can say i'm getting my money's worth you understand what i'm saying all right, I'll see y'all later. I literally woke up, meditated, I'm drinking my coffee, and I'm trying to figure out this camera. I don't even have my gauges in. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I didn't even brush my teeth yet, but question for the collective in the description. Do you brush your teeth before or after coffee? Because I think it changes the taste, but I also know that some people drink their coffee already on the way to work, so I'm hoping the teeth are brushed, but let me know. I'll answer. I work from home, and so I brush my teeth 
after my coffee because I do not like toothpaste and coffee. What I will do is I drink water when I wake up. So like, you know, you kind of flush it out. But no, I do not uh, brush the teeth before coffee. Okay, we're dressed. Probably can't see the shoes. These are my Chelsea boots, but they're Doc Martin in a Chelsea style. Okay. We have on the most comfortable leggings in the world. We got a little tush. And the sweater is from Azora. Okay. I don't know if you can see the face. Let me flip, let me flip, let me flip. Ooh, okay. Dressed. We put a little lash on because, you know, we be out here looking like a naked mole rat. Um, hair is not done, really. So there's a hat. It says woman all day, every day. And yeah, I'm excited to go see my friend. I'm excited to get out the house because, you know, I don't leave the house unless I have to. I'm not a fan of the streets, <laughs> but when I am outside, I do feel good. So um, I just need the push. So I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna turn you on as much as I feel comfortable with. Again, like this is clear. Before it was like my phone. And I was like, oh, is she taking a selfie? Is she just recording something? But it's like, oh, that bitch got a camera. <laughs> that bitch got a camera with a handle and a mic puff. So the expectation um, is different and I think it's higher. And hell yeah, I'm nervous about somebody seeing this camera and being like snatch, right? And I'm gonna do everything I can to defend it. But the reality is I'm crazy, but there's someone out there who is crazier. And my mother taught me that. So when people be out here like, da -da 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 -da, okay, remember there is someone who is la -la 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 -la, a lot more. So just being mindful, trying to navigate the world with this new setup. Um, I think it's also tied to my imposter syndrome a little bit as well. It's like, you're a content creator, you're vlogging now, and <laughs> the price I paid for this camera, yes, I am vlogging now. Yes, I'm a content creator, because there's no fucking way I'm about to have this and just sit down being scared. So the imposter syndrome is gonna have to sit down and look, going back to this, I am Joe motherfucking Murdoch. We're going back to this. Hmm. So I like to leave at the time I'm supposed to so I can leisurely walk, take in the sun, listen to a playlist, a meditation, and get where I gotta get on time with no issues. So let's do it. Okay, so I felt comfortable to take the vlog out in the city. Call me shady if you want, but I feel like there are a lot more people in the city vlogging and doing this shit than there are where I live, okay? made it back home um i ripped them lashes off so quick lord knows and i feel like when i was outside the wind was taking me and it was <laughs> so i was like lord they might not even be on by the time i get home because i'm not the type to have like a i don't have a handheld mirror or nothing but they were both on when i got home and i just assist ripped okay babe got these beautiful flowers when i got home they were here 
so cute. And yeah, I've been doing some work as soon as I got home, sat down, got in front of the computer, clickety clack, clack, clickety clue. Oh, you know what I want to watch? Babe, no. you on the phone? I'm off now. You want to watch that show, that movie? Which one? Tinder Swindler is hot right now. Okay, we, okay. And let's see what it is. If it's a series, then no. But if it's just a show, a documentary, then fine. I think it's a documentary. I don't know, I don't know. Let me not lie to you, I don't really know. Don't get me to lie. But I've been seeing a lot of people watching it and then their reaction and it looked juicy. Take a little bit of a break from Ozark. I feel like we've had a break. It's a good thing I do not have them lashes on. Okay, because it's hot. Melted, one to the face, third degree burns. Okay. All right, Flow family, I'm gonna cut the vlog here. I hope y'all have an amazing week. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'll see y'all very soon. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and follow for more, more, more. I'll see y'all soon. Peace and love. Bye.